I've lost 128 pounds on the Weight Watcher Blue Plan. If you'd like to see what I eat in a day, be sure to watch this video. Hi, my name is Patty. Thanks for clicking on my channel, Winning at Weight Loss. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to take you along on another a What I Eat in a Day video on the Weight Watcher Blue Plan. I've lost 128 pounds so far. My goal is to lose 181, so I'm still on weight loss mode. And I am going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I will take you along. I'm planning on going to the gym, doing some walking. So you can come along and spend the day with me. So I am buckling down this month. It's a new week, it's a new month, and I'm starting off. I have my gallon of water jug filled, and I'll be drinking that all day. And today I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthy. I'm trying to get a mode of just starting off on Weight Watchers. So I'm going to try to build up on my healthy habits. I got my gallon of water ready to go for the day. I'm going to have, I made some hard boiled eggs in my Instant Pot and I have those ready and I'm gonna have some fruit. So this morning's breakfast is a protein just of uh, eggs and uh, some fruit that I, uh, some grapefruit that I made and that's gonna be my breakfast and then after that I'm, well of course I'm gonna have a coffee and then after that I'm gonna go to the gym and get some steps in and do some pool time. So come on along on my day and I'll share what I do with you on my Weight Watcher hit the restart button. So here's my breakfast for this morning. I'm having a half a grapefruit with some sweet and low, two hard boiled eggs that I sprinkled some everything but the bagel seasoning on and a one point iced coffee. I use the Stoke Coffee along with uh, half a bottle of Cafe Latte Premier Protein. So that is going to be my one point breakfast. I hit the restart button and let's eat and then go work out. Got my Fitbit on and I'm ready to start walking. Walking, getting my steps in. about to go on the walking path in the water. You see it? See it has a lazy river. It goes four miles an hour and you walk in the water and 58 laps around is a mile. So it's pretty nice way to get some steps in. I keep track of it and then I put it on my Fitbit. So it's pretty cool. Nice pool. those arm lefts in. Got to get rid of those back links. Walk, 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 walk. Finish off my exercise section with a little dip in the hot tub with my adorable hubby. Me and my hot mama. Mm. Making a quick stop at Walmart. Spend some more money. It's getting back to normal. You can husk your corn in the grocery store again. So I went to Walmart to get two things. Iced coffee and some sugar-free cheesecake pudding that you make in the box for some dip for fruit and they had neither of those. So for the two things that I didn't get, I spent $65 and bought more stuff. So here I'm gonna share what I bought at Walmart that I went to buy two things. So I got some unsweetened almond milk. I ran out of that. I got packages of turkey kielbasa. I got six ears of sweet corn and it was really nice being able to shuck them in the store. 
after a year of not being able to. I got a dozen eggs, some La Choy chow mein noodles, and bean sprouts that I use. I'm going to make a pork chow mein recipe, which you could also do chicken. I saw some sugar-free peach jello. I have not seen this flavor before, and I like peach flavored things, so I bought that. And then instead of getting the cheesecake uh, for the dip, I bought vanilla instant sugar-free, so I'm gonna substitute that. I ran out of rice, so I bought that. Some Zero Point Baby Dill Pickles. They're a plastic brand, they're really crunchy. I'm trying this sugar-free G. Hughes Polynesian Dipping Sauce. It's only, let's see, 10 calories for two tablespoons, so I'm gonna try it out, see how that is. I got some of this blend seasoning. I first bought it at Costco, but I saw they have small jars at Walmart, and I just ran out. Nature's Own Seasoning is really good for flavor on vegetables and other things you cook. Got a pineapple, they were only a dollar. A couple of pears. Some turkey pepperoni to make a pizza, along with some ragu pizza sauce. And then instead of the stock coffee that I usually buy, my second best choice is Starbucks Blonde Rose, so it's not as strong. And I got some no sugar added mango peach applesauce for zero points, a bag of nectarines. See, I'm focusing on healthier snacks now instead of getting the snack. There's a nectarine. I did find some of this safe and fair birthday cake granola that is good. That's what I went to Target the other day in my Target haul, but I couldn't find it. And I got some bananas, some poppables. The only snack I bought. Crunchy substitute for potato chips. It's four points per serving. A bag of Granny Smith apples. I'm going to make some slow cooker apple pie, which is a really good zero point recipe. And some celery that doesn't look very good. And then I got some loaf moisture part skin mozzarella cheese. They did not have any fat free, so I will have to use the points up for this. I got a 98% fat-free cream of chicken soup for um, to have around. And that is my small Walmart haul for today. So I'm making a wrap for lunch. I'm having some of this deli fresh cracked black pepper turkey on a one point tomato basil wrap. And then I'm going to put a little bit of light Miracle Whip And then I'm putting a couple slices of tomato. And I'm going to wrap it up for lunch. And there's my wrap. And that's what I'm having for lunch is my turkey wrap and some poppables. And then I'm gonna have some cherries on the side. So that is going to be a four point lunch, one point for the wrap, one point for the light mayo, and two points for the popables. The cherries are zero. So I'm going to make a recipe for fruit dip that I saw at Sophie Marie D's channel. It is a half a cup of yogurt, five grams of sugar free pudding and then you put in eight grams of Funfetti cake mix so that is eight grams of cake mix I'm going to also add a half a teaspoon of Russell Stover's semi-sweet chocolate chips and that is zero points then I'll have apple dipped in it later so this is my dinner tonight a four ounce grilled pork chop, an ear of corn, three points worth of roasted redskin potatoes, 
and some lightened up broccoli salad that I made on Memorial Day picnic. I'll put a link to that salad recipe. It was really good. And it's four points for a cup. I have about a half a cup there. So that is my 10 point dinner. After dinner, going out to get another walk in. Gotta get those 10,000 steps. Jump into June. Flowering trees are blooming, they're so pretty. And the geese is squawking. What are you mad about? This is what the Special K pastry crisp looks like. Probably about three inches long, it's frosted. And that's what it looks like. It's really good. Here's my last snack of the day. Yeah, I cut up an apple and I had made that fruit dip earlier out of uh, fat-free Greek yogurt and I've added some chocolate chips to it and it is a two-point dip and I'm having it with the apple. So that is uh, my last snack of the day and I have some points left over. Good dipping on the apples. So that's going to end my what I ate in the day video. I ended up using 21 out of 24 points available. So I have a three point carryover. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified of every time I upload a new video. Remember, we're here to eat healthy, get fit, and be well. This is Patty, and I'm winning at weight loss. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!